Hi everybody, this is Mitzi with Sassy Texana Designs and today I'm going to teach you about the liquid embroidery. Basic eight primary colors that I got at Hobby Lobby. <clears throat> and what I'm going to do today is I'm going to make some dishcloth towels, drying towels, uh, for Easter. And what I'm also using is uh, Aunt Martha iron on design and the one I picked out for today is they have a little a little lamb I don't know if you can see it a little lamb and they also have this little rabbit so those are the ones I'm going to make today so it says on the comp on the package on the paper that it, what you should do is cut out the design that you want off of the paper so that you know none of the other things are going to bleed through. So you just cut out the one you want. The instructions for all this is on the paperwork. So you shouldn't have any problem doing this. If you don't follow all the instructions today or you don't catch them all today, then they're going to be on your paperwork. However, this is what we're going to do today. So, I'm trimming around them. You need to be sure that your uh, fabric is clean. You can pre-wash it. You also have to need to have your iron set on the hottest temperature it'll go. Cotton setting, linen, somewhere there. It says that if you have the, um, the, the fabric warm that helps to absorb the design and since it is a ink type uh, drawing or transfer what we're going to do is put a piece of parchment paper on my ironing board so it won't go through on my ironing board i'm going to place the the dish towel on top of the um, parchment paper. I'm going to center it where I want my design. Okay. Smooth it out. And like they said, they suggest that you get the fabric hot. So you iron the fabric to warm it up before you place the transfer pattern on there. And then choose whichever one you prefer to start with. I'm going to start with the little lamb. So I'm going to place it. And if you want to get really technical, you can measure these things. I'm just going to go with what I think is the center. So I can't decide if I want the little lamb to be galloping around or if I just want him to be standing on the... I think I'll have him... Kind of galloping. Some, that's what little sheep and little goats do. They like to gallop. Okay. So they suggest that you hold the iron on the design for at least 15 seconds. Sometimes up to a minute. It depends on how hot your iron gets. And you just hold it on there. Try not to move it because you're going to smear it if you do. They said to lift the edge of the design up to see if it's gone onto the paper. Okay. Now see? I moved it and it's a little bit smeary, but this stuff does wash off. You just have to decide which one of those little lines you're going to use your, your paint on. So, another tip I would use if I was you is I would also just leave that parchment paper underneath there because if you paint on it, you don't want it going through on your ironing board and you don't want it going through on your table. One of the colors that I've decided to use is 
pink for his inside of his ears. Yes, this is white. And then um, I'm going to outlining in the black. I'm going to have some colors of the flowers. So we're going to need the yellow and the green for the leaves. And maybe some blue. So, on the Aunt Martha's paint pens, it'll show you on the back, straight up and down, not at an angle. It's not a pen. And you just slowly go along the edge of the design. You can also put these um, designs with a embroidery hoop around it so that you can keep your fabric tight and it won't move at all. That would help if you needed it. Years ago there was a movie and there was a little sheep in it. It was a Disney movie. I think I might remember the name of it. So Dear to My Heart, I believe. And there was a little black sheep and he got in lots of trouble. It was very cute. Burl Ives starred in it. If y'all haven't ever seen that movie, you should probably check it out. It's very cute. That little sheep gets in lots of trouble. So, what made me think about this is because I'm thinking about painting this little sheep's feet black. A lot of times, depending on the sheep, type breed you do not also you do not squeeze the tube you just let it flow naturally you don't bend the tube and you don't squeeze it you just want to hold it straight up and down let it flow naturally if you haven't used the the paint in a while or if you buy a new package like I have it may take it a little while to get going and um, some, this one uh, you that we had she had triplets and so I named them Flopsy, Mopsy and Topsy and they were they were hysterical they would get into them craziest things there's a like a, a, a feeder you it's like a feeding trough and it had a little roof on it and so one of the little goats somehow or another I don't know how got up on top of it and I heard this noise outside and it was like rat tat 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 and I was like what is going on and so I went outside to see what was going on. And one of the little goats was up on top. And it was going back and forth. Aggravating its little brothers and sisters. And they were down there eating food. And I don't know why he was aggravating them. But he decided he should. And uh, so he was down there. Or he was up on top. And he was going back and forth. And that, he'd just go rat ta 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 That was back... Before everybody had a cell phone. So I didn't get it on video. Fun. I do suggest that you clean your tips very thoroughly. After each use. Which is understandable. You don't want to have crud stuck in the paint tip. And then they do sell replacement tips. I mean, so I suppose you could buy replacement tips if you had to, but if you just, if you take good care of it, it'll be it'll work for you for as long as you have paint in the tube. Supplies are, and also in the 
in the box, it gives you a, a website to go to for the Martha Aunt Martha's paint. And they also sell the patterns for the different um, designs. There's always, there's some, you can do stuff on pillowcases. You can do stuff on children's clothes. You can do stuff on your clothes. They have all, every kind of design you'd want. You can put it on pretty much anything you want. You can put it on ceramics. I don't know how you transfer it, but you can. I think they said something about using um, like a chalk on the design and then transferring it like that or carbon paper if you, if you weren't going to use the iron and then just press it on there like a transfer pencil. I have a transfer pencil that I use in sewing. So I appreciate you coming to my um, page today to check this out. My goal is to teach arts and crafts and to have a variety. I like to do pretty much any kind of arts and crafts. I like doing wreaths. I like doing flower design. I like doing painting. I like doing embroidery. I'm not very good at crochet. I can do simple crochet, so I'm probably not going to do a lot of that. But I like different kinds of crafts. I like them. Pictures for every type of holiday. So, okay. So I'm going to put the Put the lid back on here. I'm going to put it back in the box, pointing down. Okay, so I have my basic outline on my little lamb. I'm going to let him dry a little bit. Then I'm going to use some of the green. Aunt Martha's Ballpoint Fabric 04 Green. I'm going to go over the little grass stems. They said that, for instance, you don't ever try to roll the tube down or anything if you feel like it's getting empty. You don't you don't do that because if it creases and it, this is this is a metal tube, and if it creases, it might have a little hole in the side, and then you would probably start spilling paint everywhere. So that would be bad. needed to be primed but this is basically all you do you just go over it's like coloring and you just go over the design and you make it your own you know you pick out what colors you want I would imagine another thing you would not want to do is when you are coloring or painting you wouldn't want to put your hand over the design because it might still be wet and then it would smear so you just kind of hold your hand up off of the design so we're going to be in Texas where I'm from we have um, blue bonnets I see here where I missed some eyelashes on my little sheep my little lamb And his little chinny chin chin. So, anyway, we have blue bonnets in Texas. So, some of my flowers are going to be blue. Here. So, I'm going to make this one a blue bonnet. It's so tempting to squeeze on the tube, but you do not do that. So I'm trying to get things done. That reminds me, you have to let this dry 48 hours before you wash it. Move his little foot. I missed a lot of different things here. Okay, so he's outlined. The flowers are highlighted. 
I could put more grass over here beside him because he's obviously out in the middle of a meadow jumping around. They like to do that. Just like in the fairy tale little Billy Goat Scruff, they wanted to go to the greener pasture on the other side of the bridge. In fact, if you wanted to, you could paint this and so well, just like this. And then you could go back over it with embroidery and highlight it. I've seen people do that. It just depends on how technical you want to do. Like if you're going to do this for yourself, of course you want to make it as technical and beautiful as you, as you possibly wanted to. If you're going to do it to sell, um, you're going to have to be logical. The more work you do on it, of course, the more it's, you're going to have to charge for it. So you wouldn't necessarily want to do so much work on it that you had to charge $25 for a dish towel. That's not but I will color it in just a little bit. I can see it. You probably can't see it on the video. But it's, it's just, it's there. I know I did, and sooner or later it would probably become evident. I am going to go ahead and paint his little feet black. They always make me think of little black patent leather shoes because they're always so tiny. They're solid black and sometimes they're shiny. So I think I should give him, even though in real life they don't have blue eyes, I think I will give him blue eyes just because I can. Girl, I don't know. Maybe you can give it a little touch of red for its little tongue. She's a little baby. So give him a little bit of highlight in his ears. You can paint these whatever color you want. They don't tell you this is what color you have to paint it. This is totally your design. Now, like I said, if I wanted to, I could go back on this with a, a real fine paintbrush and I could really make it neat and clean and really, really detailed. But as it is, I'm just going to leave it like that. You can sign it if you want to. You can put the year, whatever you want to do to it. But see our little sheepy? Isn't he cute? Yeah, because you see him kind of bouncing around like that. That's what I see. 